What's going on my broskies, my name is Toadski, back again, here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video, and today we are going to be looking at some V-Jump leaks. Now, uh, you know, it's kind of interesting because the video that I made yesterday or the day before, just talking about Legend NL, right, you know how uh, V2NL came to the game on JP, I think he, he came out today, um, and we were waiting on V-Jump because we were waiting to see what they were going to reveal for this month, and I said in that video about NL, you know, because we have NL now, I'm sure that V-Jump is probably just going to be NL and that'll be it. Man was I wrong. There is a lot of stuff in V-Jump. Now we don't have an image of the magazine yet. Um, we will only have like preemptive leaks from this website, Rio Kuta, who is known for getting information early. Unfortunately, they don't post the images, uh, probably for you know, reasons, uh, but they do post the information that is within the magazine, which is awesome to see. So we can go ahead and translate this and have a look because this is some big news, right? So let's go ahead and translate this real quick. One Piece Treasure Crew's latest information, uh, the second, uh, or well, the second month being February, but the 25th of February, super amazing, which translates to Sugo Fest exclusive, Ace versus Red Dog, Red Dog meaning Akainu. Wow, okay, so that's happening. Uh, a brand new versus unit is coming to the game. Uh, it's about time, honestly, because, you know, the versus mechanic was super, super cool when they first revealed it. But, you know, that was quite a while ago. When was that? September, October-ish last year? And Big Mom versus Kaido is the only character in the game that is a versus unit. And now, finally, February of the next year, we're getting our next versus unit, which is going to be Ace versus a Kainu. We'll get more talking about them in a little bit. It also mentions Amazing Luffy. Now, Amazing, uh, from what I've heard, is just translating to Rare Recruit. So, Rare Recruit Luffy, Aokiji, Jozu, Sengoku, and Whitebeard. So, that's a lot of Rare Recruits, man. One, two, three, four, five. I, I don't know. I, I don't know if the, all of these are going to be Rare Recruits. I, I could see some of them being free-to-play. Um, we'll have to wait and see, of course. Uh, but that's that's pretty cool, though. So, you know, versus Ace and Akainu, and then a bunch of brand new rare recruits. A new Sengoku is always nice. Sengoku actually has a couple of really good supports, so I'm really happy about that. Um, so if he's really good, you know, it could be could, could be quite good. Aokiji has a couple of decent supports too. Luffy, obviously, he's probably going to be good, let's be real. Um, but there's more information. On the 10th of March is going to be the treasure map versus Luffy and Ace, which is the silhouette that we got from uh, the game after their, their last treasure map had just concluded. And yeah, this is... This is Luffy and Ace right here as the next treasure map character. Now, it doesn't mention whether the unit is a dual unit. It doesn't mention if it's like, you know, just two characters in one unit. I hope it's two characters in one unit because I'm not really the biggest fan of dual units in general. But then again, you know, treasure map units aren't always the best captains, especially compared to Sugo Fest exclusive. So you never know. Potentially might be a dual unit that might actually be really good for free to play people. Uh, I just hope they've got a good special, right? And it's kind of interesting because like, in my opinion, this treasure map Luffy and Ace, like we don't even know what he does yet, but I have a feeling that this unit's already going to be better than the Sugo Fest exclusive Luffy and Ace. I'm, I'm, I could probably I could probably put money on that on that being the case right um, but let's see you know it comes out in March uh, the 10th of March it's quite a long time from now so I would expect there to be definitely some type of event to come alongside Ace versus Akainu maybe a blitz battle that they are having a blitz battle very soon on Japan so maybe not a blitz battle of some kind maybe it's like a personal ranking we're not really too sure how it's going to work out yet but you know, there is a pretty big jump in time between these two dates here. Nearly two weeks, right? And then on the 7th of May, May, March, sorry, we get uh, an amazing Garp, Kizaru, and Arrhenius. Now, this actually is a mistranslation. This is actually um, Onigumo, which is one of the Vice Admirals, the guy with the, the spider hair. That's the guy there. But also a new rare recruit, Garp, and Kizaru unit. So I don't know why these rare recruits are coming later than these ones. Um, potentially, it could be just relating to another event coming up. Potentially, that is the Treasure Map Sugo Fest. Actually, that makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Yeah, so, like, Garp's probably the highest booster, Kizaru's second highest, and then Onigumo's the lowest booster for Luffy Ace Treasure Map. That probably makes the most sense, as it is a few days before the actual Treasure Map itself. Duh. Makes perfect sense, right? But, um, yeah. Ace versus Akainu. I wonder what they are going to be. I mean, look, there's so many different facets in terms of versus units, right? Actually, I mean, I've got the database up here. I want to bring up Kaido versus Big Mom first. Um, because, like, what can we really, like, realistically expect from a character like this? Obviously, if you guys don't know how versus units work, um, basically, when you put that unit on a team, you choose. Do you want it to be X character, or do you want it to be Y character? 
Um, so, you know, when you select it for a team, it's either you want to be Ace or do you want to be a Kainu. Now, both units have different... They can have different classes. For Kaido versus Big Mom, they didn't. So they can have different classes. They can have different colors. So Kaido's strength, Big Mom was Int. And then they have vastly different captain effects. So this was Kaido's captain effect. This was Big Mom's. Um, their sailor effects, I think, are the, are the same. Their special abilities can vary as well, which is cool. Even though there wasn't much variation between these two characters here. But it just shows that they do have the capabilities of doing that. And uh, then they have the versus ability as well. Now, the condition for their versus ability, when the crew consumes or uses 10 tandem recovery or similar slots with normal attacks. Once you do that, you're able to swipe down on the character to launch their effect. So Kaido has like lots of damaging effects. Big Mom goes through barriers and defensive effects. She gives you similar slots. She's a healer. Like there's lots of really, really cool things that they could do with a versus a Kainu and versus Ace. Um, I think it's a pretty interesting choice as well because I think the thing about, you know, Ace versus a Kainu is like, yeah, I think that's a pretty decent choice for a versus unit, but like personally speaking if i was if i was told that ace is getting a versus unit the first character that would have come to mind would have been blackbeard i thought for sure if they were going to do ace versus then ace versus blackbeard would have been the first one that they would have chosen but no they decided to go with akainu which i don't think is a bad choice i think it's still an awesome choice um and you know specifically about ace right ace hasn't had a legend since halloween ace that's a really long time ago, dude. That's like a really, really long time ago um, that Ace actually had a Sugo Fest exclusive. So I think it's a really, really good choice to uh, to put Ace on this. And I mean, the last Sugo Fest exclusive for Sakazuki was, of course, the V3 Akainu, which was a global first release. And uh, I mean, he's, he's good, um, just doesn't really see that much play. He's not like an essential unit for content, unfortunately. So I'm really interested to see what they're going to do here. I mean, the way that I see an Ace versus a Kainu unit working, in my head, the first thing that would come to mind would be them both being strength units. And, you know, one potentially is more offensive and one is potentially more recovery based or has, I mean, a, some sort of survival mechanic or some sort of death blow mechanic where, you know, you, you're, you're risking a lot of HP but you're getting a huge benefit out of it. I could definitely see something like that for Ace, where he risks himself by lowering his own health, but then you get like some crazy ability because of it. And then for a Kainu, I could see him being the type of character that can just bypass defensive effects with his attacks, something like that. And you know, if they have both, if they're both strength characters, that would be okay. But um, I definitely think giving more support to Quick and Dex is, is what needs to happen. Although I don't think Ace and a Kainu, the, the versus unit of this unit would be the ideal choice to give quick and dex characters the support that they would require but i think it, it is something that you know needs to be addressed because the quick and dex typing are just terrible in the game right now whereas you have like the side typing especially with nl boa law judge roger like the, the side typing is just the best typing in the game nothing really comes close to it i mean like int is still pretty good um they had a lot of releases obviously throughout the the, the last few months but Sai is on another level. Like, Sai is literally untouchable right now. They are so good. And Strength, I think, is still pretty solid. They've got a, a lot of really good units. I mean, Kozuki Odin helps out a lot. Sweet Commanders are there. Um, Super Type Snake Man, of course. Like, there's lots of really, really good units for Strength, of course. But, man, uh, this is this is big news. This is really, really big news. And I think it is kind of weird that they're doing, like, an Ace Legend plus a Luffy Ace Treasure Map because you can't even use them on the same team. Um... I mean, I haven't really thought about it, but if you use Kaido versus Big Mom, but said it's a Big Mom, can you use, like, another Kaido on your team? Probably not, right? I mean, I don't know. I don't actually know. <laughs> I haven't even thought I haven't thought that much, that far ahead, but, yeah, I don't know why they're doing Ace Legend and a Luffy Ace Treasure Map. That doesn't make sense to me. I think, um, like, maybe a Marco Treasure Map would have been really cool. Like, if they did, or maybe, like, a, a Whitebeard Marco Treasure Map, that would have been really interesting as well. But, yeah, very, very weird choice. And I'm just super excited to see what they're going to do with it, because obviously we only have one example of a versus unit, so we don't know how far they can stretch that mechanic, and what kind of things can we really expect from them. Um, so I'm excited to see what it's all about. So of course, uh, according to this, it comes out on the 25th, and interestingly enough, this is the exact same date that uh, the English and French version is going to be celebrating their anniversary Sugo Fest with German Double Six, Sweet Commanders, and Luffy Sanji. Well... I mean, Luffy Sanji should be first because they kind of split up the release on JP, so we'll have to wait and see how it's like. But yeah, the anniversary Sugo Fest is on the 25th PST time. The uh, 
Ace and Akainu Sugo Fest is on the 25th JST time, which means it's actually the day before our anniversary, but it always seems to happen that way. Global has a really hype celebration, and then JP's like, oh, let, let me just go ahead and release this brand new legend during the celebration for Global, which is, just completely overshadows Global and builds all the hype for Japan, whereas it should be building the hype for Global instead. I definitely think they probably should have staggered the release a little bit, at least given a week, right, of Global having their anniversary Sugo Fest, and then release this stuff a little later but hey look i don't work at bandai i don't uh i don't organize the schedules of releases so potentially have something planned regarding that but that is going to wrap up this video today let me know down below in the comment section what you want from an ace and sakazuki versus character this is very very intriguing and very very surprising but honestly i'm pretty excited i'm really really pumped to see what they're going to do here especially with their special animations as well uh and um, of course with the power level that we saw from nl that literally just came out today i mean ace versus a kind realistically should be one of the best legends in the game especially because kaido big mom when they came out they are probably the, still the best legend in the game period um definitely rivaling roger luffy sanji shanks crew etc uh i'm really really pumped to see what they can do with this unit but anyways that's going to wrap it up hopefully you guys enjoyed this one and if you guys did enjoy it make sure you go ahead and leave a like and if you want to stay up to date with all the content that i post including more one piece treasure cruise content make sure to hit the subscribe button down below but on that guys i'll see you guys within the next video